Okay, y'all. So today we're going to talk about something I am pretty passionate about. Um, I'm actually um, learn about this in school. Um, I'm going to school to be a social worker. And so this is something that we talk about a lot um, in my classes. And so I thought it'd be awesome to teach you guys this because it's important for everyone to learn about. Um, so today we're going to just talk about respecting other people's culture. Um, and so before we di dive into that, um, culture is a really big word that encompasses like a lot of things. So it means that a lot of things can make up someone's culture. And so before we start, start talking about how we can respect other people's cultures, we have to talk about what culture is and what, it, um, what makes up people's culture. And so I'm going to give you guys a second um, to grab a piece of paper, have your notebook, and I want you all to think about what makes up someone's culture. Um, so their culture can be like, for one example, it could be like their food or it could be the language that they speak. So what could be part of someone's culture or what could be part of your own culture? I'll write down some of my um, examples. Okay, so did y'all write down some examples of what you think culture might be? Okay, awesome. So I wrote down um, some things that might make up someone's culture. Um, so this could be the food that they eat, um, what kind of clothing they wear, the music styles that they, that they listen to or that um, they perform, the dancing styles that they have, the language that they speak, their religion, um, holidays, or like time. So with time, it could be like how they view what is late or what they view um, is early, um, which that one is kind of one that you don't normally think about when you think about culture. But when you interact with people who come from other cultures with you, from you, you realize that people think about time differently. So a lot of times, um, you are, when you're dealing with culture, it's from people who might be from different countries than you are or whose families come from different countries than you are. And what is so cool is when you get to interact, all these different cultures um, get to interact together because we all bring our unique culture with us um, where we go. So for example, with food, um, in America, um, American traditional style food might be like our hamburgers, our french fries, all of that. But we also get to experience other cultures food. So like Latina food or Latino food, um, food from the Latin culture could be like chips that are like we love to eat like tacos and we love to um, eat like chips and salsa. So that could be, um, that's something that we get to enjoy from someone else's culture. Um, music styles, there's so many different music styles that come with culture. A lot of people have traditional styles of music um, in their own culture. Um, so like the style of music in African culture, like different countries in Africa, um, is all going to be different than the styles of music in um, Latin culture, like different countries in like South America or um, North America, like Mexico. Um, clothing styles can be very different too. Some people will wear clothing based off of their religion. So that's how some cultures can kind of tie together, right? So um, in the Middle East, where they practice, um, a lot of people practice the same religion, their clothing styles are going to look the same. And they might be a little bit different than what we see a lot of times in America. And so now that we've kind of gone over what some examples of culture are, what we should talk about is respecting other people's cultures. because. While they look different than ours, that doesn't mean that our culture is right and their culture is wrong, or that their culture is right and ours is wrong. Just because someone's culture and how they present themselves and what um, music they listen to, what food they eat, may be different than yours, that doesn't mean that it's wrong or different or gross, right? So let's just start thinking about some of those ways that we can respect other people's culture. So I'm going to challenge you guys to just write some of those ideas down, and I'm going to write some on my own, and then we'll come back together and discuss. Cool? Awesome. Okay, did you all think about some super cool ways that you can respect other people and their culture? Because I did, and I put some of them up here. So one of the ones I is super important that I think everyone should be mindful of is don't say ew, right? If somebody's eating some a food or a dish that you're 
not sure what that is or it might look a little bit funny to you, just you don't say ew because you don't want to criticize someone else's food. So if we're sitting in the cafeteria and we're all chatting, we're having a good time, we're, we get out our lunches and somebody pulls out something you've never seen before um, that might be part of their culture, you don't look over and say, ew, what is that? You know, you can ask what is it and be like, oh, I've never heard of that. That's cool. But don't say ew because if you've never tried it before, you don't even know you might like it. And I have tried some pretty strange things. Um, well, not strange, but things that are different to me. Um, and it, it turns out like some of them are really good. And like you just would have never known if you just looked at it and judged it like that. Um, ask questions. So if you are unsure of something, if you've never heard of like this certain type of food, if you've never listened to this kind of music before, if you've never seen someone dressed in the certain way that someone is dressed, um, ask questions about their culture. Be curious about it because it's so cool when you get to learn about other people who are different than you. Because that's, what's make, that's what makes us so unique and interesting is that we all come from different places and it's so cool when you get to learn about other people. Uh, you get to learn some of the coolest things when you just are curious and ask questions about people who may seem different than you are. And then try new things. Um, you know, if you just kind of stick with things that you already know, that's always fun, that's always safe. But when you go out there and you're like, oh, this looks different than what I'm used to, maybe I should try this food. Or, oh, I've never listened to this kind of music, but my friend and his family really listen to this and um, I'm gonna try listening to it too. You get exposed to things that you probably never would have before and you may really enjoy them and you might learn a lot about someone else and their culture from it. Um, so these are some ways that we can respect others' culture. Um, and I think it's also important to just state, like culture doesn't always mean that you guys are from another country. Um, each each um, household, each family comes with their own unique culture, with their own unique foods that they may like or they may have a certain way of doing things. And it's just learning how to respect people in that too. Like even at your school, um, if you go to Sunset Park, the culture at your school, the rules at your school, how you do things at your school, languages that you might use, when you go over to another school, they might not understand that or they might think it's different. And it's just learning how to work together, um, be respectful, be curious, try new things, and just really get to learn about other people. Okay, y'all, thank you so much for listening. Um, I'm so glad that I got to talk to you guys about this because I think it's so fun to learn about other people. Um, and I think it's also important to say just you get to share your culture with other people. You get to share the things that you like and things that you love and the things with other people um, as well because that's important too. And um, what you like is valuable and important. So go out there, learn from other people, share your culture, and have a great rest of your week. Bye. Please be sure to like, subscribe and share this video. It helps us reach more people who could use our help.